listeners and subscribers. Hope all is well. So I took a little bit of time off. Really, there's been a lot of news coming out of Washington, uh, other places around the pond, um, America, you know, in general, and just taking all that into consideration. I like to have a, a slower, more thought intensive view on some of this stuff. So really, I, I like to watch what happens. All right. Uh, I consider myself an observer in, in a lot of ways to try and see how this ties into the, you know, the same nefarious agenda that I'm constantly talking about. That is the New World Order. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I want to ask, doesn't some of this stuff seem coordinated? All right. Um, let's get through this and, and we'll see who can keep up. So we know we had that shooting in Christchurch that left dozens dead and caught international attention, right? And of course, there's skepticism from pick your side for pick your reason. But the fact remains, regardless of the inconsistencies in this story and uh, others like it, the subsequent narratives, legislation and regulations that come from instances like these, uh, we need to pay attention to. OK, because what stands out to me more than anything is the coordination uh, like coincidences that have been creeping up, you know, all around the pond. Uh, so we had the mosque, the, the mosque incident in Christchurch, like I just talked about. Then a day later, some guy in Phoenix threatens people at a mosque and he was arrested for it. OK. And three days after Christchurch, there was a shooting in the Netherlands on a tram. I think it killed like three people. And that was initially being linked to terrorism as well. All right. Some vandals peppered a, a synagogue with swastikas in the States shortly after that. Uh, a Parkland shooting survivor took her life a week after another Parkland shooting survivor uh, took her life from survivor's guilt, apparently. Uh, then, mysteriously enough, uh, a father of a Sandy Hook elementary school student took his life in an apparent suicide as well. All right. And we already know the sort of storms of inconsistencies that surround those events. So I'm not going to throw fuel on that fire right now um, as much as I already have. Right. Uh, I don't think that I, I don't know what, what this stuff is. Uh, I don't know if it's part of a black awakening where trigger words are, are being spoken on radio, news media, or television shows and, you know, activating sleeper agents. Uh, maybe some of these people are being paid to fall off the map. Maybe others are being strategically recalled, if you know what I mean. Or, hey, maybe some of this stuff is just as they're telling us. All right. Not likely, but who knows? God knows. Right. But. What a cacophony. I mean, look at what's going on in, in Yemen, Syria, Iraq, Venezuela. You know, you got the whole UK and, and Brexit deal happening, Greece, Israel and Palestine. We saw what just happened um, earlier this week. Right. We don't even have uh, North Korea reined in. Uh, the global economy is slowing down. The U.S. could be heading towards a recession. And we know every time the U.S. Achoo! Right. The rest of the world catches what? And when America gets a cold, perhaps other economies catch pneumonia. Right. So we're, we're looking at this. All this stuff is integrated. Look, these aren't things that are are new necessarily, but the exponential escalation of the rhetoric and vitriol is OK. The escalation to the point of virtually no constructive dialogue or amical de uh, deliberation is being had. And, and these things continue to grow. And as they continue to grow and as we continue to head down uh, this trajectory, it's the people who suffer and it's the people who are going to continue to suffer. And we aren't just talking America. OK, we get so caught up in the psychological warfare and social engineering, which are used as a strategic initiative to essentially engage the public in a way that it, it allows the powers who shouldn't be um, to leverage more control over us. OK, you know, whether it's special interest groups, the, the political, business and financial sectors, it doesn't matter. Uh, this control grid, this matrix is captivating the minds and imaginations of those remaining few with enough cognition to recognize the trap being laid before us. OK, it's, it's a shame. The timing of the release of the Mueller probe, Jesse Smollett's exoneration. Oh, gosh. Uh, both before elections okay all this ramping up before elections it's not passing the smell test none of this is all right there's a lot of stuff we have to look at and realize it's not just us being played in america it's the world and it looks coordinated it looks coordinated the systematic takedown of strategic nations through civil unrest political corruption uh the incremental replacement of mainstream legislators with extreme or far right or left-leaning legislators so the proposed bills and fixes actually do more harm than they do good and again not just in the united states uh not just in america but all across the pond as well so do i know what happened here in all these instances no absolutely not um did some of these people who committed a rash of suicides really take their lives because of survivor's guilt uh you know i don't know did they take an income Come to fall off the map where they again recalled if you're picking up what i'm putting down i don't know i'm not going to throw any more fuel on that fire than i already have what i do know is 
all this stuff is going to come back in a way that limits rights, freedoms, liberties, all the above, and will not ultimately benefit us. That's what we're talking about. No matter what the outcome of this stuff is, no matter what your opinions on how some of these events unfolded, uh, it's not going to be, look good for us in the long run. And that's what we need to inoculate people against. That's the message we need to spread because uh, a system is being built. All right. And much of it is already complete. And it's a system designed against us. OK, the curtain is being lifted and the veil is being torn. These instances aren't isolated events. All right. They're part of a timeline. Dots on the page that eventually paint a picture. It's, it's threads of the same tapestry. That's what I'm trying to articulate here. And if you aren't picking up what I'm putting down, you have to understand that these, again, aren't isolated incidents. They all coincide. They, they tie into the same machine, the same world order. Um, I hope you understand that. Anyway, we're going to go and uh, I'm going to start looking into vestiges of another video here because I want to get into some underlying elements of this stuff. We got to understand the spiritual implications that this isn't just, you know, men in business sm suits uh, smoking cigars and drinking lemonade or sipping whiskey. <laughs> it's far more nefarious than that. It goes deeper than that. Anyway, take care of yourselves. California Carter signing off.